Welcome to this video. Africa presents Eve and ancestral DNA. Modern humans have two sisters? Supposed modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans and possibly other groups. 1. Have identical DNA and 2. Have the same and consequently common ancestor. If groups that have an ancestor in common are called sister groups, then obviously, they are all sister groups, and that would make us, the supposed modern humans also one of the sister groups, and the latest of the sister groups. At the same time, that would make the other sister groups also modern humans, and that would make us only calling ourselves modern humans, and other sister groups like primitive, like inducing, also ourselves, into error. Of course we can do that freely, because the others do not exist anymore, to call our attention to our error and to defend themselves as modern too, most probably because we modern humans killed or extinct them, even them being our sister groups and or parent group and modern humans, just like us. But that is not how the general public, we the modern humans, sees it. We should keep in mind that when siblings that already live and thrive for a long time, gain one more younger sister, and if after gaining that one more younger sister, all older sisters and also the parents die, then one could expect that the arrival of the latest sister or the latest sister herself had led to the death of all other already long before living sisters, groups, and also the parent group. There are reasons the younger sister affects the parent group less than it does affects its other sister groups. One of the reasons for this is that the younger sister group does compete less with the parent group than it does with its other sister groups. Because the parent group is a group that can and obviously did reproduce, and not an individual person that obviously one day will die of old age, it is supposed to live and thrive as before, independent if one more sister groups appears or is created, by hard hybrid Satan. There is of course no direct family kinship, quite probably the arriving new group, newer sister, did not recognize their common ancestral relation when they turned over and eventually drove to extinction its own sister and parent groups. Most probably for a long time already, since the supposed Austronesian and out-of-Africa expansions, the main objective of these and other groups was mining, and this not necessarily to take the mined products back to where they came from, but as essential for culture and its economy and the or the operations necessary for the initial and continental sized turnovers, that obviously was successful. In my opinion the expansions, like also the later Austronesian and out-of-Africa expansions, were not at all the following of their prey into other and later all continents, but orientated to mining, this at least initially. Ancestral markers point out the Amerindians as our ancestors? The ancestral markers point out the Amerindians as our ancestors and parent group, but that is for later. 1. Conquests around the year 1500. What I can say for now is that roughly 500 years ago certain Europeans sailed to the Americas and killed many Amerindians and or took their land, justifying themselves, ourselves, by defining the Amerindians to be merely some kind of animals or some kind of primitive offspring of ours, or of our hypothesized ancestors, out of Africa, with the Africans already considered kind of animals already before. 2. Ancestral markers to get it right. If the ancestral markers would be right, of course they are right, because they are the markers, and if they, all markers, confirm each other and no other marker or indication proves the contrary they obviously are right, then it is very much in our, consensus, interest to keep consensus as it is, this despite of all that science and evidence proves to us time over time, because if the truth would be recognized we would become aware, that we instead of killing some supposed primitives we in, fact killed and destroyed and still prejudice our very own ancestors. 3. Soon extinct or resilient and sustainable? Our ancestors, which are certain Amerindians, were the only human groups that knew to live and thrive in a sustainable way, the only human group that its DNA is not like a ticking time bomb, like ours, because our DNA became vulnerable and unstable because of extreme hybridization inflicted on us by others and or by ourselves, the most probable, in order to turn over whole populations, continents and eventually, all supposed modern humans, in fact hybrids, together, the whole world. If our ancestor living sustainably and having stable DNA was not true then we would not exist. Different from our origin, which are certain Amerindians, we self-defined and supposed us to be, the only, modern humans, but at the same time we do not know how to manipulate, hybridize, nor to repair our own DNA, that has already started to irreversible collapse, see other videos. All of the hybrids before us got extinct, we better should take that as a warning. Answer to the title. Africa presents, proves, even ancestral DNA? No. According to consensus Africa does indeed present the supposed ancestral DNA, 
I do not consider it ancestral DNA because amongst others it is much too recent to be the ancestral DNA of all humans, that are all older or have earlier origin. It however is not the mitochondrial Eve DNA, that could suggest that mitochondrial Eve is indeed African, which still would not prove it is ancestral to all humans. Mitochondrial Eve is not the first to carry this supposed ancestral DNA. The ancestral DNA was carried long before by Neanderthals, and probably Denisovans too, which most probably have inherited it from humans, possibly from our origin, Amerindians, or from a group at least closer to the origin, Amerindians, than that mitochondrial Eve is, but not from our by consensus supposed ancestor or origin, which is mitochondrial Eve or sub-Saharan Africa. The mtDNAL that is found in Africans today most probably is not African and even more probably is not sub-Saharan, because Africa has no significant Neanderthal DNA, as all other humans have, and sub-Saharan Africa has even less. What I claim here is no absolute proof, but only an indication, because if Neanderthals are the only group to be proven to have carried mtDNAL and this long before 200,000 years ago, before mitochondrial Eve came into existence, it is them that are the first candidates to be considered to have transferred it to mitochondrial Eve independent of if she was in Africa or not when she came to exist. If that had happened, this most probably had happened in the Americas, because only in the Americas both Neanderthal and mtDNAL are found in fossils. After the Neanderthal, the next candidate for providing mtDNAL would be a group closer to the ancestor of the Neanderthals. This group closer to the ancestor of the Neanderthals would have transferred mtDNAL first to the Neanderthals and next to mitochondrial Eve. This is the most probable case, because only in the Americas both the ancestor of Neanderthal, also proven by means of the ancestral markers, Neanderthal and mtDNAL are found in fossils. This further means that that one mtDNAL ancestor is the only proven candidate to have been a potential common ancestor for Neanderthal with mtDNAL and mitochondrial Eve with mtDNAL. Unless the reader, you, assume it first went from Africa to another continent and next came back to Africa, where it got extinct in the in-between time. The dating of the mtDNAL in modern Africans tells us this forward out of Africa and back into Africa is not possible. The most important constatation here is, until today and despite all efforts, Africa did not and does not present, were not found, the for consensus important mitochondrial Eve DNA. I suspect that when 200,000-year-old mitochondrial Eve, not African, will be found, as a fossil, that this will be in the Americas. Just for your information, all three, Neanderthal, Denisovan and mtDNAL pre-Columbian fossils are found in South America, as well as in pre-Columbian modern humans and Native American modern humans, that do not descend from immigration, slave trade etc. To be continued. Thank you for watching this video.